Fishing's big around here. Uh, we got three of the best lakes in the country. Right off, I noticed he had a passion for fishing. It's all I want to do. To actually get to fish in high school against people my own age, compete against them and get to travel around Georgia and Alabama and Tennessee, it's special. Well, I've always been doing it since I was, ever since I can remember, my dad's the one that got me into it. Uh, me and him would always go fishing whenever I was real little. I grew up fishing on Lake Wise, Gunnersville, and Chickamauga, and Nickajack. We started fishing when he was probably age of four. Just pond behind the house. Right off, I noticed he had a passion for fishing. He'd sit out there all day at that age, if you'd let him, out in the hot sun, fishing. Uh, just mind working on how to figure out how to catch fish. We're here in Northwest Georgia, and around here we got a lot of spotted bass lakes. Fishing's big around here, uh, we got three of the best lakes in the country. The pros come down uh, usually every couple of years and they have a Bassmaster event down on Chickamauga and Gunnersville. I love fishing. I, I don't care what it is. My favorite is bass fishing, but deep sea fishing, fishing in the bay in Florida, I love that too. I had rented a house down in St. George and I was fishing off the dock and I was sitting there talking to Dad, and I look out and Rod just doing this, run out to the end of the dock, and I had to get Dad to help me get it up out of the water. And I couldn't believe how big it was. It was probably 40 inch red. It, I did not think I was gonna catch a fish that big. We went out with a guide, and he couldn't believe that I caught it off a dock on a house. Him and his daddy are just really close. I mean, they're. They're, I guess, best friends. First tournament I ever fished with him for money tournament against a bunch of grown men. I was probably eighth grade, I think it was. We got in it, he told me, well, don't expect to win it or anything. It's going to be tough. We ended up going out. First fish I caught that morning was 8'6", biggest fish I ever caught still on Lake Gunnersville. And we ended up best five that day and went 28'73", which is the biggest bag of five fish I've had to this day. Well, I got in middle school, started the high school fishing thing, and ever since then, just, it's all I want to do. There's very few sixth graders that start at that age. Most of them wait and start in the high school, but we started in sixth grade and competing against a lot of older kids, and he, he done real well, especially for his age and experience. I always hear my dad talk about, well, only if we had this whenever I was in school, and to actually get to fish in high school against people my own age, compete against them, and get to travel around Georgia and Alabama and Tennessee, it's special. There's a lot of strategy. You gotta know what you're doing, know what you're looking for. You can't just expect to get lucky and catch fish. They put a lot of work and a lot of time in it. A lot of, a lot of nights alone. You know, I'm at home a lot while they're on the road. 
usually we go out uh, two or three days ahead of time, pre-fish tournaments out of town. The lakes we live around, we pre-fish weeks in advance. And usually we go out and just try to find big fish and find a pattern that we can run, like with their own rocks, ledges, grass. Then during tournament time, we know what to hit. That way we're not wasting time just trying to find fish. With fishing, especially tournament fishing, it's all about being efficient with your time. That eight hour day, the, the clock's ticking all day long. And the more effective you can cast, the more you can keep your lure in the water, the higher chances you have at catching fish. You gotta know how to use your electronics and lake mapping shows contour lines and how deep everything is. Kind of keeps a map of where you're Count fish at, you put waypoints, and you can run back to those waypoints. Bass tournaments, the hay fishes, you weigh in your five heaviest fish throughout the day. A fisherman needs to read the water conditions and adapt to select a certain technique to try uh, based on their knowledge and experience on the water. My favorite thing throwing is probably big swim bait. I love catching fish on a big swim bait, slow rolling it through grass. They hit the crap out of it. And when they hit it, you gotta hold on, pull them out of that grass. It's probably my favorite way. Or a frog, throwing it on top and watching them come up out of the grass and eat it. I just see him making better decisions on the water, his casting skills. All that has gotten a lot better uh, as he's gotten older, of course. We've been fishing GHSA since I was in freshman year of high school. And first year we fished a state qualifier, we won it, 238 boats. We got first place with 16-8 or something like that, yeah, 16-8. And this year we won the same tournament again on Lake West Point. They ended up weighing in 19 pounds, five ounces, and basically had almost a seven pound lead on second place. And that's special because I didn't ever think we was gonna win one, win two of them, it's just unbelievable.